in this battle, we are taking on um, Till Kazoo, I believe. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but I, I get that this is probably like an attempt at a, an aesthetic username here. So anyways, we can see that they have a uh, stack team. And I should also include, this is a new game. Um, unfortunately, the last one I was on, I think it was called Bronze Reformed. Um, they've had some complications and uh, they have not uploaded a game in a month. I've also been away for a month. I kind of just got busy and the game has not been up in such a long time. And I really have not bothered to uh, to do anything about it until now because it's fall break. Um, and I probably will disappear again. However, I did want to get an upload in just because I've been uh, missing that experience. So anyways, um, I will explain um, what this team is in a bit. But we're going to start with the Cobalion here. Because it has Vault Switch. No, no, no other reason. I mean, I'd also consider the Infernape. Um, because, like, you do kind of want to get that in when you can. But this this is actually a terrible matchup here. Now, we do actually outspeed. Um, now, if Cabalion, like, had a Nasty Plot. If I, or Calm Mind, actually. It looks like I don't have Nasty Plot on this. Maybe I should get it. Um, but if I did, I would have definitely gone for that here. Um, and then I would have gone for my all-out pump link which would have been a lot of fun however we don't have that luxury so um the good thing is for a pokemon like garchomp we have the tangro it's not necessarily a perfect check um especially since this one has a bit of special defensive investment here although it's really quite a reliable answer um we can expect that he's going to go for a dragon type move too so if we need to we can definitely pivot in the uh tapu Fini here with the uh nature's madness the moon blast all that we got golurk too um, unfortunately, no ice punch in this. It looks like I opted for Stone Age instead. Um, so actually, that's not really a good check. I was wrong. Infernape should also at speed. Yeah. So, I mean, we can also... I mean, I'm, I'm not too concerned, um, about this Garchomp. It could be scary. With a, with a... If it had Dragon Dance, it would definitely be bad. Even Scale Shot. I don't know, like, the status... At least in this game, like what kind of moves these uh, Pokemon have. Although right here we definitely ate that up. I mean, this Garchomp can actually be scary. Like I've seen some really high-level players definitely um, make use of it, especially with like Sword Stance and then their Z move. Like it can it can do quite a lot of damage to Tangro if you're not careful. I think it's like the uh, Rock type Z move actually that that I last saw um, on a competitive Garchomp. Although I really think. A devastating Drake would probably be a little bit better for it if you're really trying to break through something like Tangro. So anyways, we do land to sleep here, and as long as this is not a mega Pokemon, we can actually get a pretty powerful Hidden Power Ice off. Um, and I'm actually not too concerned. I probably should be because, I mean, this has 150 special attack. Although, I mean, I will take a KO if I can get it here. He might switch out, actually, now that he knows I have Hidden Power Ice. So you definitely don't want to mess with that. Yeah, and he does stay asleep, so we will pick up the KO here. That's a pretty big KO. It's a Rayquaza, a shiny at that, so it might have some good IVs or something. Who knows? And uh, really, with Tangro, too, we can afford to take a hit because, I mean, we have Regenerators, so it's not really going to matter too much. So Charizard comes out. Um, I'm expecting this to be a Mega mega Y. Good thing is this Tapu Fini here is kind of bolt to shut down both forms of Charizard. Although we don't have a water type attack, but we have Nature's Madness, which should suffice for that role. Although what's even better is actually the Tyranitar here. Um, now it really depends on if this is a Charizard X. That If it is a Charizard X, um, we could be in a lot of trouble actually because this team kind of gets destroyed. Golurk probably can take a hit. I, I really want to believe it can. Although I might, I might be overstating what it can do. Although... This has a lot of HP investment here. I, I decided to opt for just a bulky um, and hard-hitting physical attacker rather than going for anything else. And I might also replace a lot of these Pokemon. I just I needed I needed Tyranitar. That was going to be the Mega that was uh, voted on. Um, and then in addition, I I wanted to support it. So Tangred and Tapu Fini are kind of there. And then like the rest, like they just kind of fit in as attackers that I wanted to try out um, because they they look like a lot of fun to be honest. So anyways. This guy's probably wondering why it's taking me so long to make a move. Let's go into Tyranitar here and hope that this is a Mega Charizard Y. Um, although, it's not really going to be convenient since our Sandstorm only sets up on the next turn. 
Well, well it's going to set up now, and if he's a, yeah, he's a mega wide, and he's going to get his drought up. Although, we're going to mega wall, and our, 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 our sand is going to come back on, so if he tries to go for a solar beam, it's not going to work out. Like, I, I know this matchup is definitely an interesting one, although in most cases, Charizard actually does not beat out Tyranitar because of how bulky it is. Um, now, this might be an exception, although we should eat that up. Hopefully, we don't get burned, though. That'd be terrible. Okay, dang, that actually hit really, really hard. Oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense because without our sand, we're not actually that bulky. So let's go for a Dragon Dance here to try and uh, see if we can get a sweep going. I hope I hope he goes for a Solar Beam. Like That'd be kind of funny if he wastes a turn doing that. So I, I hope we do actually outspeed on the next turn. If we don't, then it's, it's not going to be good. But we should hopefully be able to since this is only about base 100-ish. So yeah, his Solar Beam is not going to work. I mean, it is kind of tempting to actually go for round two and Dragon Dance, although I don't think that's a necessary precaution here because, um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know if we can actually survive a Solar Beam from Charizard. And in addition, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, like, even if we even if we do survive, um, like, he might have some sort of priority or something like that. So it's definitely not worth it. So let's just go for the Stone Edge here. It's kind of risky if it misses. It does land though, so that's gonna take out the Charizard. And we're at pretty comfortable HP, so not much can actually probably take us out because Tyranitar is really bulky. It's a it's a really bulky sweeper. I really don't like what's going on here with the uh, with the sprite though. Don't mess with that. Like I wish it was kind of like the Charizard where it was smooth and uh, natural looking. But we'll see what he's got for Tyranitar. And this is this is not really my cup of tea to be honest. I prefer like really fast sweepers over um bulky sweepers but you know i'm gonna i'm gonna try it out and see if i actually like it or not so i've never actually used this okay bullet punch comes out hopefully we live yeah that's why that's why you want to kind of keep some hp and we do pick up the metagross right there not a surprise though i mean if, if that didn't ko that'd be kind of sad but uh i mean tyranitar has some pretty insane um physical bulk actually even in its pre-mega form and then when the mega walls i'm pretty sure it actually gets more um, on the defense side. So here we can go for a stone edge. He might actually outspeed. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, unless this does not have any speed investment. Hopefully no focus sash. Okay, we do pick up the Greninja right there, which is sweet. Might get a sweep here, actually. We, we've had pretty good luck with stone edge. I actually don't like having to rely on it, but, you know, right now it's, it's all right. So if we outspeed the Greninja, we should outspeed this Garchomp. Ice Punch should be able to take it out. And really, I have Ice Punch there to take out Landorus and um, Garchomp too. It's going to be really good for that, as you can see. Um, and you could also offer Earthquake over probably like Crunch or something like that, although I didn't really see the need. So right here, um, it's tempting to Crunch, but he could King Shield. He could also Shadow Sneak, and I actually want to get a clean sweep here. So I'm probably going to switch out into Infernape, to be honest. Or maybe not. Well, actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Huh. Yeah, that's the move I'm going to make. Because Overheat should do an insane amount of damage. Unless Shadow Sneak like hits really hard. We're going to find out right here if it does or not. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, he Swords Dances. Okay, well I hope he can't one shot us. Because that's going to be really sad if he actually completely sell right here. Okay, yeah, that's enough to take out the Aegis Slash. So, I mean, that, I mean, I probably could have gone for a crunch there. I wasn't anticipating a sports stance, but that right there is going to be GG. Good game.